Okay guys, I know it's been a while and normally I would love to sit here and catch you up on what I've been doing lately, but if I do that, I will never get through all these pickups that I have accumulated since my last video. So I'm just going to hurry up like I haven't been gone forever and try to get through this because I can tell this is already going to take forever. Okay, first from the Goodwill store, I picked up this Game Boy camera. It is in the color yellow and as you can see, it's in its box and the box is in great condition. Voila! And I don't know if you can see this here, but it is still sealed. So, this is pretty cool. And also from the Goodwill store, I picked up in the 49 cent bin this cute little Goomba. This is from 1989 and as you can see, there's a little suction cup there. And I'm sure it used to stick down and pop up all adorable, but alas, uh, it does not do that anymore. Then, the Blockbuster that is by my house is closing down, which is not a surprise. But their games were all really cheap already, and then an additional 40% off. As well as they had, you know, some little knick-knack stuff that was, I think it was more than 40% off and then already marked down. So I grabbed these. I think this is Zelda Phantom Hourglass figures, if I remember correctly, which I might not. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, yeah. So here's this one. Sorry if I'm going fast, but like I said, I've accumulated so much crap. I feel like I'm never going to get through all this. And then I have this one. They only had two, so I just bought them both. Uh, oh, cool. Here's this. There are five figures. And here they are. So those are probably less than a dollar. I don't remember. And the game I picked up for the PlayStation 3 is a Warhammer game, Space Marine. I actually normally don't go for this type of game. But I downloaded a demo not too long ago out of probably just boredom, and I actually really liked this. Uh, typically games that are just like shoot, 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 kill, 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 and consistent action, no stopping to think or do anything except for shoot, 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 is not something that I dig, but I really liked the controlling on this, which is not typical for me with this type of game. And, um, what's something else I like? Oh, another thing I liked about it is a lot of the times if there's just constant action, um, I get overwhelmed and I just start shooting everything. And if, you know, there's my, my own peoples, I kill them too because I'm just like, everything that moves dies because there's just too much crap going on right now. But since you're fighting orcs in this game, which are scary little green men, unlike, you know human people. It was easy for me with all the crap going on to be very clear about who I needed to be killing. So that's why I liked this game. So I decided to go ahead and purchase it. It says $14.99 here, but it was a lot cheaper than that. I want to say it might have not even been $10. Under $10, I think, is what I paid for this. So there's that. And let's see, the last couple of days... I picked up this game. This is from Best Buy for PlayStation 3 Folklore. I've wanted to grab this game for a while, but I had so many things to play. I didn't want to overwhelm myself with games that I would never be able to start or seemingly would never be able to start anytime soon. But finally I'm in a position where I can devote some time to this. And I have not played long, but so far, it's okay. I'm not loving it. The storyline is semi-interesting. It's not great, but to be fair, like I said, I'm not that far. And I'm sitting through a lot of storyline right now and a lot of cutscenes, which gets on my nerves after a while. But it's early in the game, so I'm trying to be understanding about that and... For the little bit that I have actually got to play of the game, I'm a little worried, a little concerned that it is going to get repetitive. But like I said, it's really too early for me to judge this. But I just did anyway. <laughs> so, folklore. 
Um, I think I paid $17.99 for that. And then another game that I'm currently playing for the Nintendo DS is Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Which one is this? Trials and Tribulations. This is the first time I've ever played a Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney game. And to be honest, at first I did not like this. I was getting really frustrated because I just did not understand how to play the game properly. I wanted to um, present evidence at the wrong time and I just didn't understand the flow of how the cross-examination and stuff works. And so I was getting really frustrated with that. I wasn't giving the game enough time, you know, for me to understand how to play it. But what kept me going is the characters are so funny and the way this game is set up, it's just hilarious. I just kept laughing and figured out, ah, you know, the characters are good enough for me to just hate the gameplay. But then, like I said, once I got used to the game and understood how to play it, then uh, the game also became fun. So, yeah, really enjoying this right now. From a thrift store by my house, they actually had a ton of Xbox and PlayStation 2 games. But this is the only one that I wanted out of the hoard that they had. And it's Dragon's Lair, Return to the Lair? Yeah, Return to the Lair for the original Xbox. This was, you probably can't see that there. This was $2. Um, I have no idea what to expect from this game. I actually just recently started collecting Xbox games. I only have like six or so, so I'll give this a shot sometime soon, hopefully. Then, I actually grabbed this game a while back, but uh, when I went to visit my friends in Monterey, I left it there. It is a Wii game. Trauma Center Second Opinion. This is a lot of fun. My friend and I were actually playing this um, so long that it started to get late and it was time to go to bed and we just wanted to keep playing so we ended up falling asleep on the couch playing this game. Um, it makes it sound boring. We did not fall asleep because the game was so boring. It was actually that fun to where we didn't want to go to sleep and uh, it's really not good to operate on people when you're falling asleep. I wouldn't recommend it, but I would recommend this game. Very fun. I want to say uh, that was so cheap. I think I paid like $4 for it, and I can't remember where I bought it in Monterey. Then I also have another Wii game, Epic Mickey. I actually did own this at one point. I already beat it and everything, and I love the game. But I let my friend borrow it. She has kids, and they really liked it. So I was like, oh, I'll just go ahead and keep it, and I bought another one. So that's that. I also have a stack of game guides here that I picked up from the Goodwill store. So these were all $1.49 and I'm just going to go through them really quick. Ah! Final Fantasy 13, Zelda Twilight Princess. Spore. And this one actually has a poster in it, but it's nothing special anyway. Terminator Salvation, and Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. So, there's all the guides for $1.49, and okay, I think that is all the gaming related stuff. So, if that's all you're interested in, sorry I went through it really quick and didn't really elaborate on anything, but I'm already nine minutes and yeah, I don't want this to be forever long. Okay, next, uh, I think I got this from the Goodwill store from the 49 cent bin. I have a glow worm. I don't have this one, so that's why I went ahead and picked it up, so cute. For 99 cents from the Goodwill store, I picked up this Rainbow Bright Cup. Adorable. And then also from 99 cents, from 99 cents for 99 cents from the Goodwill store. I grabbed this Flipsy Dogs um, thermos. You can see a little 99 cents there. I think this was a Disney toy. Um, it might have been a cartoon too. Honestly, I can't remember. I had 
the stuffed dog. They basically look just like that. And I do see these from time to time, the Flipsy Dogs at the Goodwill store, but how they were made is their coat was yarn. And so all the ones that I come across, the yarn is all frayed and dirty and tangled and gross and they're just totally effed up. So I've never picked up one of these nasty little dogs from the Goodwill store. So I just went ahead and got the thermos. Also from the Goodwill store, I picked up this pound purry. So cute. I have like four of these things, but I don't have this uh, particular one here. And there's the little markings. And she was, he was, whatever it was, <laughs> 99 cents. So there's that. From the SPCA thrift store, this was only $2. So excited to find this. Oliver and Company, Disney's Oliver and Company. This is obviously Oliver. Well, maybe not obviously for those of you who have never seen Oliver and Company. But I absolutely loved this cartoon when I was little. And I remember there being a lot of merchandise. I had a shirt, I had toys, um, I had stuffed animals, but it's really difficult to find any Oliver and Company things now. So really excited to find this and in such good condition. Adorable. Ugh. Grab the stuff over here. From the SPSA. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Also from the SPCA thrift store. I actually passed these up the first time because I don't know uh, how some of you are going to take this. But when I was little, and obviously now, I have never been a fan of Sesame Street. It just irritated me when I was little. Um, not that I have a thing against Muppets or I didn't have a thing against Muppets when I was little. I liked, you know, Labyrinth and Dark Crystal and things, but Sesame Street just irritated me for whatever reason and I didn't like those Sesame Street Muppets. But not saying it's a bad show or anything for those of you who love it. That's fine. I'm obviously the weird one here, but yeah, just not my thing. So, the SPCA thrift store had all these golden books, Sesame Street, and they're from the 80s. Plus, they have the little price in the corner, and I, for whatever reason, because I'm a weirdo, love to find golden books that have the prices in the corner, because not all of them do. The ones, um, I think from the, anything in the 90s isn't going to have a price here. I don't know when they stopped doing it to be honest. I collect golden books but I don't know a whole lot about you know dating them and how to collect for them. I just know that I like the ones with prices in the corner and I like when they have these these kinds of backs on them. I don't know. So anyway I went ahead and went back and picked these up because it was just bugging me that I let them go the first time. Oh! <laughs> this clearly is not um, Sesame Street. This is a cereal. Um, it was called Crispy Critters. I don't know if anyone remembers that. But this is really cool to find because I think you had to get a proof of purchase off a box of cereal and mail it to wherever you're supposed to mail it to and then they sent you this. So really excited to find this because I remember having this book actually. But, yeah, like I said, clearly that's not Sesame Street. So I'll continue on with the rest of the golden books that are Sesame Street. And that's it. Also, from that thrift store, I picked up other golden books that were not Sesame Street, which I will show you now. Do, 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 do. Go, 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 Christy, go, 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 go. Okay. From the Goodwill store, I also grabbed a couple of Disney albums. The Rescuers. Where does this come out? Here we go. Ugh. Really excited to find this. I don't know. I'll just leave it in there. You get the gist. We know what albums look like, right? Right. And then also this one. I was super excited to find this because it has Casey Jr. from Dumbo on it. And I love that song. Absolutely love Casey Jr. So I've been kind of playing that one on repeat. 
Then, let's see, we'll go with this. This is also from the SPCA thrift store. It is a Ghostbusters Proton Pack. So awesome. I'm gonna hurry and put it on, even though I'm trying to blast through this. Waste my time. Ugh, you have to be a contortionist to get this on as an adult. So yeah, there you have it. Ugh. Awesome. Okay, how am I gonna get it off? Ow. This was, I think this was $3. Excited to find that. From the thrift store, these were all a dollar. As you can see right here, all for a dollar. This is called Show and Tell Picture Sound Program. Do dolphins talk? So basically, I've never seen this until now. You would have this thing, this television slash record player. So you play the record and then, I don't know if you can see that right there, but you put in like a little slideshow and it projects the image on the screen. So here you go. Here's the record and then here's the little slideshow part that is projected on the screen. So I thought that was pretty cool. And hopefully I will run into one of these little devices sometime in the future. And if not, oh well. I ended up with a ton of these things, so there's the dolphin one. And I'll just quickly go through all of these. Da, da, da. I noticed that Disney made some of these, and unfortunately this person did not have any of the Disney ones, which makes me sad. I would have loved to have a Disney um, show and tell thingy majiggy. But oh well. Oops. Maybe I'll run into some in the future. Alright. Next I have a puzzle that I got from a thrift store for 50 cents and it is Sylvester and Tweety. Per usual, I sat down and counted out all these pieces to make sure there was indeed a hundred and the funny thing about this puzzle is there is like a hundred and five. I don't know. At first I was like, Christy, you can't count. So I recounted and yeah, there are more than a hundred pieces in here. And to be honest, I'll probably never sit down and put this together. So it will forever remain a mystery. From the Goodwill store, yeah. I picked up a couple of coloring books. Disney's Dumbo. These were 75 cents. They were not colored in and they're kind of older. So that's why I went ahead and picked these up. And then also, what's this? Disney's Christmas book featuring Mickey's Christmas Carol. So I got this one as well. You probably really could not see that because I flipped through so quick. From a thrift store by my house, I typically try to buy my children's books from there, the ones that I do end up purchasing, um, because I collect children's books, specific ones, not every children's book I come across, obviously. It has to be something um, nostalgic for me, so I tend to pick them up from there because at the Goodwill store, the children's books are 75 cents, and that's not horrible, but it's just for something I'm collecting for my own nostalgic purposes, not for a uh, future investment or anything. That's a little bit more than I want to pay for just, you know, something that's going to sit around just for my enjoyment. So the Goodwill or the thrift store where my house sells them for 25 cents, the children's books, and that is, that sets better with me. So that's where these came from. First, I have Foofer, and I used to love this cartoon when I was little. Um, so that's why I went ahead and got this. Really happy to find it. Next I have Teddy Ruxpin and to be honest I am very surprised that I don't run into more Teddy Ruxpin books. Um, this, this toy was very popular and I would expect to find more books but I really don't. And to be honest, um, probably half of the time when I do run into these 
uh, the books are colored in or the pages are torn so they typically aren't in very good condition I only have like five of these myself so happy to find that one and then last for the children's books I have a Ewok one right here Wicket and the Dandelion Warriors an Ewok adventure happy to find that and oh my gosh did I finish oh 20 minutes that's insane one more thing from a thrift store by my house I believe this was three dollars and it is try to situate this here <laughs> it is a Star Wars sleeping bag with Darth Vader plastered on the front which makes me happy and I really love the inside of this Ugh. work with me damn it so cool love that and this is actually I believe from Pottery Barn Kids which is a little pricey so this was a spoiled little brat I imagine and uh, hopefully it wasn't a bed wedding spoiled little brat smells good yeah okay <laughs> so that is it I hope oh my goodness like I said guys sorry that you know I just show up and just blah blow through all this but I really didn't want this to be very long and it ended up being long anyway so uh, yeah, I uh, just needed to get through all this because it was just getting overwhelming to where it was going to take forever. So next video, hopefully I can slow it down a bit, make it a little bit more personal, and hopefully, hopefully I will talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye!